Welcome back to uh, k &L Farms, and I wanted to show you I'm destined to pour this floor, this concrete floor, for this building in addition to the homestead uh, in uh, three days. So I wanted to bring you up to speed before you see a, a slab out there, what I was doing. So I uh, got the grade done, compacted, got a barrier vapor down, I, uh, I squared the corners, and when I squared the corners, I put a stake, which I can show you a stake. I got the, I got the box squared to the building, and then I put a survey stake in each corner, but I didn't nail it down. And then I went for elevation uh, for to be level and true. I raised it or lowered it, uh, and then I put a nail in the corners to hold it uh, temporarily until I can get a laser and check my uh, check my grade. Now uh, I'll show you a couple of the mounts. Remember, I'm doing a, a rough cut six by six. They're down the hill. Uh, you, if you go on back on my playlist, you can see me making these six by sixes. But so any hardware store, box store you go to, they'll have a monument like this. Uh, but in my case, this is five and a half. They make a six, but it's actually an R. It has an R in the number, and I couldn't find them. So I just got five and a half. So on my six by six frame, I'll just come up, and it looks like three inches. I'll come up three inches, and I'll, I'll cut that out so that it fits in here uh, nice and tight. And then I'll show you the orientation of these two. Now this one here, you'll see, this is a standard one. Every 10 feet, there'll be one of these. Be a, a mount like this to, to start holding your uprights to go to the top, towards the top. And then I gotta go in this corner here and I'll show you. Now remember this corner over here, that's got a piece of concrete there. There's a concrete slab right here. And this concrete slab is what I started doing grade on. I started my grade over this one. And then I carried that grade all the way around. Because this I couldn't go any deeper than this. This is the monument. this so that it's stable so that when we when we bring in the, it's going to be seven and a quarter yards we're bringing in when we start dumping concrete in here these will be stable enough that you don't have to hold on to them and set them they'll already be set to where I want them to be okay so then rebar I'm going to do rebar and I didn't know this part I didn't know this part I learned also is uh, I want is 20 feet by 20 feet. I grabbed this 20 foot stick of rebar, threw it in there, and it wouldn't fit. So I got to checking, and these sticks of rebar are 20 feet 2 inches. So what I've been doing is I take uh, the end of them and uh, about, a, about a foot of the end of them. I take the end of them, I'll get a piece of pipe here in just a minute. Find the pipe. I take a piece of 3 quarter pipe, standard 3, three quarter pipe. Actually, this is a this is an older one. This piece of three-quarter pipe. I slip it on the end. Turn that about a foot. Step on it. Put a bend in it. And that bend will fit inside that box. You want to hold it back about six inches from the perimeter of it and that one is a little bit too long so then you you make about a you can make it two foot three foot whatever you want to make your grid out of and then you take uh see if i can find them take one of these any box store any hardware store they have these standoff pieces and i don't know if you really see it or not but you can cross these take one of these and you want to hold it to a certain height and they sell these different heights sell them one inch two inch three inch and you just
just it just snaps into the rebar. And you pick up the rebar. Snap it down in there and it's set. You just don't want and it's sometimes it's tough. You don't really want people walking on your rebar. Now it I just got it roughed in for uh for an example right now, but you don't really want people walking on the rebar because uh, that currently is, isn't correct yet. And then uh, that's kind of what I wanted to show you. Uh, I wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like before the floor by next week. Uh, I'm hoping by Saturday. Saturday this coming week uh, there should be a concrete uh, floor here. Uh, and uh, that's all I had. Thank you. Have a good day.